Hi, I'm Dr. Rob Jones from Utah Wellness Institute, and a lot of people ask me, number one, should I take vitamins, and what kind of vitamins should I take? So I'd like to answer that real quickly with a really good example. Number one, yes, take vitamins. Obviously, the food we eat today doesn't have the nutrients in it that it used to. But here's the big question. There's two groups of vitamins and minerals out there. One is synthetic, one is whole food. So let me illustrate this with a quick story. My wife and I, a couple years ago, went into a health food store. She was buying some produce and I went into the back vitamin room and I was just looking around and a lady came up to me and she said, can I help you? And I said, well, I just wanted to look at your multiple vitamin mineral supplements. She said, well, they're around here. We went around to this aisle, four great big long shelves of them. So she left me and I started pulling each one off the shelf one by one. And I'd look at it and say, synthetic synthetic, synthetic. They were all synthetic vitamins and minerals. And so she find, and I probably looked at, at a good 25 or 30 of those and they were all synthetic. So the lady comes over to me and she says, are you looking for something in particular? And I said, well, no, but I do have a question. These are all synthetic vitamins and minerals. And she says, oh, are you looking for a whole food vitamin? I said, well, yeah, do you sell those here? And she says, well, they're over on the other aisle. So we went over there and down on the bottom there was three of them. I took the middle one and I looked at the ingredients of it and I said, okay, now that is a good vitamin mineral complex. And then it said one month supply and it said $79.99. And I looked at it and I said, wow, that's awfully pricey. And she says, well, you get what you pay for. And I said, what do you mean? And she kind of looks this way and that way and she says, well, all those over on the other aisle, they're all synthetic they aren't going to absorb into your body very well, if at all. This, on the other hand, a whole food, is guaranteed 100% absorbable. And I looked at her and I said, well then, why do you sell all those vitamins over there? And she said, well, that's what people buy. And I said, because they don't know any better, they aren't informed, right? And she says, yeah, pretty much. And I wanted to say, you dirty dogs, you. You're a health food store. People come to you and trust you for good information and you're selling them synthetic vitamins. So the idea is, very briefly, you have to know how to tell the difference. And it's really easy to tell. If you look on the label and you look under vitamin C, in parentheses, it'll say vitamin C and then behind it, it will say ascorbic acid. That's a tip off that you're buying basically a synthetic blend of vitamins. That's synthetic vitamin C. Now where would real vitamin C come from? It would come from oranges or, or cherry some type of food. So if you see vitamin C in parentheses, acerola cherry, or orange rind, or, some, or, or alfalfa, you know that you're getting a whole food product. Another example, look at the B vitamins. If it says pyridoxin hydrochloride for vitamin B6, does that sound like a chemical or a whole food? Obviously, it's a chemical. It should have some food source behind that, like brewer's yeast, or liver extract, that way you can tell whether you're getting a whole food or a synthetic vitamin. Very simple, just look at the label, but know what you're looking for. Thanks and happy hunting.